Hi, dear friends, colleagues, family. Today, I am going to answer some frequently asked questions regarding the self healers protocol, since more and more people finally are going at it. Uh, same questions keep popping up. So I thought the best way to answer them is in this way. The self healers protocol, for those who have it, you know right away, has a, is based on two things. One is hydration and cleansing, and another one is reprogramming of the genetic code. When we talk about hydration, the question always is, well, how much water, how much plasma, because we don't drink water, we drink plasma, which is water with sea salt. How much daily should I drink? Well, in protocol it says you start one liter in the morning, the first thing you do, so you, do, you can do the cleansing of <clears throat> the mucous tissues and of your digestive tract and blood. And then during the day you have to drink at least two more liters of plasma, but your stool should actually be the gauge. Uh, when you start, most people will have diarrhea because as the mm, toxic mucus is being put into the uh, stomach and into intestines, as the blood is cleansed, uh, it causes inflammation, poor water absorption, which gives us diarrhea, it's basically flushing the system. And this is positive thing. You never interfere with body's cleansing. Diarrhea is cleansing. Phlegm also can occur. It's cleansing. Tearing eyes, sniffles, all this is cleansing. Even sweats and fever, all these are symptoms of cleansing of, the, of toxic blood. Now, Usually, after first few days or week or two weeks of morning diarrhea, all of a sudden you may start seeing hardening of a stool. If you see stool hardening, not getting pasty, but actually being formed like a pellets, this is sign of dehydration. So you are drinking more plasma, more water than ever maybe in your life. And I'm telling the, that now you are getting dehydrated. Well, this is because your cells, it means that your blood got cleansed enough and your cells are now starting engaging their osmotic pumps. They are hydrating and they need much more water. So they will soak everything out of your, in, your colon, all the water back into circulation because they need it. And this dries our stool, makes our excrement harder. Every time you are constipated, it's never because you don't have fiber. That's a nonsense we are being fed with. You are constipated because you are dry you don't have enough plasma in your body and body is trying to soak in every, every little piece of moisture that it is in your intestine. So don't wait for constipation. As soon as you see little pellets forming, little balls of, of uh, feces, start drinking more water and drink as much as needed to stop this, so you have diarrhea or soft stool or pasty stool. And this is it, it's very simple. Um, now, some people, not many, but some people who are very toxic, they had to drink up to eight liters of plasma daily. Now this, wow, you cannot drink this much water. No, you cannot drink this much water, but you can drink drink this much plasma because you are not eliminating your electrolytes you are actually bringing them in so 
that's about water and you don't drink anything else you just drink your plasma for change you can have a glass of plasma with a lemon in it lime juice it's like a lemonade but instead of sugar you have salt it kills, it kills a thirst immediately it's not like lemonade with sugar that you have one and then you want another one because you get thirsty after from the sugar with the salt lemonade it kills your thirst immediately now this is about the water the most frequently asked question but the other most frequently asked question goes to the other side of the protocol which is the reparation of your genetic respond and this we do through correct diet but most of all we cannot have dietary glucose in our diet to be able to reprogram our genetic code now don't be confused glucose will not stop cellular cleansing because glucose is not toxic so you can eat bread, you can eat pasta, you can eat a lot of things, but potatoes. And if you are providing enough plasma, you will continue with cleansing, but you are not going to continue with cellular genetic reprogramming. Because glucose is the number one thing why our genetic system is out of whack this is why even in Bible because cabal cannot lie they have to tell you the truth but they do it in such a way to misguide you they mentioned in their book of projection that is called Bible they mentioned there that the evil Eve made Adam eat the forbidden fruit well it's not forbidden fruit it's forbidden food why it's forbidden because by creator it is separated from animals or humans so they don't get poisoned by it and it's always separated with a film of cellulose since no animal or human can digest cellulose there is no chance of poisoning if you eat God's food you, it means the way you find it in nature this way you eat it so you can eat your bananas you can eat your potatoes as long as you eat them the way you found them which means raw there is no chance that you are going to get access to this forbidden fruit how you get access when you cook it this is why Eve since Eve was cooking women were preparing food men's were, men were hunting so since Eve had to cook it then serve it well that's how Eve gave Adam the forbidden fruit but it is not because of Eve it is because of the Anunnaki who told Eve to do it now we don't go into detail I have all of this in my articles on, on my website and in some of the videos I mentioned it but now a lot of problems are created when our body is adjusted to dietary glucose because it has to produce certain enzymes that normally doesn't and while doing this since the same pair of genes is being used which normally is used for other things now since of change of vibration it is going to be changing the blueprint giving blueprint a different blueprint to the cell to do now the problem comes that cells start behaving differently and we are trying to now change this back into the normal state because the problems the most obvious problem is the longevity it tells you in the bible humans lived 600 years and more Methuselah 900 years 
well, once when we started eating this forbidden food, our age dramatically dropped to less than 200 years. And the more we eat it, the shorter lifespan we have, and faster we become sick. Because now we are loading ourselves with this. We, most people here in Peru, all they eat is this forbidden food. And of course, women with 28 years old already are having hysterectomies because the uterus is completely gone, full of cysts, breast cancers. Um, all these tumors has have a lot to do with it. We are just going, going, and this vegetarianism now, this is forcing you all, no, no, this is what everybody knows is not worth knowing, okay? So if you are being pushed into it and promoted, doctors promoted, you know, we need to eat vegetables because we need dietary fiber. There is no such a thing as dietary fiber. The fiber the plant have is a cellulose. Nothing dietary about it. You cannot digest it unless you cook it. When you cook it, you break it down and then you have access to the glucose and to other garbage that plants are providing. Yes, sometimes you have some minerals, but have a sea salt. So, when it comes to glucose, the question always is, well, Darko, what about sushi? Can I have sushi? Well, the sushi has rice. You cannot have it. This doesn't mean forever. We are reprogramming the cells. Once, one part of this reprogramming is lowering down the level of glute of the transporting mechanism. We have to put it down on its normal level, which is minimal. You, when, when it's normal, then no matter how much glucose you have in the food, you will absorb no more than 200 grams daily. And this is capacity that our liver can process. This takes time. For different people, different time. Younger you are and in better shape, less toxic you are, faster is the reprogramming. In three, four months, you can be fine. Older you are, more toxic you are, especially with chronic ailments, takes longer time. During reprogramming, during this healing phase, you cannot even smell it. Okay, you cannot even touch it with your, because uh, remember what I said, it is not the quantity, it's the quality. You smell alcohol, the vapors go into your bloodstream and immediately your whole cellular structure starts shutting down for hydration, no more hydration because alcohol had been sensed. Same with the nicotine, somebody smoking in next room and the little, you smell the smoke, you realize, oh, it's cigarette, bingo, you are shutting down. So when it comes to the healing protocol using food, you have to completely eliminate glucose. You cannot even touch it. Again, it's not forever, until you drop down the absorption into normal levels. And again, for different people, and this is your di diabetes goes away, <laughs> because your diabetes, your sugar, a raised level of sugar is because you are eating it. But doctors are just too brain brainwashed to see it, because we are being told that we need it, because if you don't eat it, your brain cannot function. This is all stupidity lies. Number of mitochondria is going to be chosen the how many every cell will choose how many mitochondria it needs active 
to produce enough energy. Depending on fuel it will be using. We should be using triglyceride, fat. And then you need more mitochondria. That's fine. Your brain cell will have 4,000 mitochondria, fine. It will make plenty of energy. But remember, during the healing process, if you really want to heal, and not only heal, you are going to start becoming younger. You feel lighter, you feel fabulous. But you cannot have any of the dietary glucose, which means you cannot have any cooked vegetable. Forget about pizza, pasta, ice, ice creams, nothing. Once, when you drop the absorption, then, when you want, you can have, but then you don't have to focus, oh, I can just, just have one little piece of bread, or give me the thin piece of, of this uh, cake. You can have whole cake if you want, because you cannot absorb nothing. You can absorb maximum 200 grams in 24 hours, because you don't have transporters. Sugar will not come without transporter. But now, you have to know that every time you eat it, you start producing insulin, and every time you produce insulin, you start producing more of the glute. So if you start, continue eating it after you have reprogrammed yourself, you will quickly go back. So what I do, yeah, I have, when I have ice cream, I have a gallon. Don't give me a little scoop. But I'm not having this every day. Lately I was having carbohydrates more than uh, I should. And I, I feel it, I gain weight, my varicose veins start showing up again. And uh, now, and uh, my wife just this morning told me she had a um, reflux, which we hadn't had for a long time. And we go back into our proper diet now, and cleanse and use self heal protocol. And uh, also we use it with, um, aid of, of um, Bob's back uh, pulsar, uh, electrostimulator, and very quickly we are back to, well, with the health, with the way we feel, we are back to normal, but it will take again probably three months for the glute levels to go down, because we for a couple months now we are indulging ourselves with glucose more than, well, there is no such a thing more than we should. We should not have it. We, you can be on a party and have whatever you want. But then go back, eat correctly. You will cleanse this out within a day or two. And no harm done. But if you start having every week something, and then twice a week, and then almost every other day, well, you start making more and more gluten, you start absorbing more and more sugar, and you start getting sugar, uh, glucose. Always, I, I'm trying to avoid this word sugar, because whenever sugar is mentioned, people think other ah, sweet stuff. Not the sweet stuff. It's the non-sweet stuff. What the alternative medicine and doctors are calling the safe carbohydrate, which is nothing safe about it. it. This is the devil. This is the forbidden food. Biblical forbidden food. Starch. Dietary glucose. Dietary because you have taken it out from the shield of cellulose because you, have, you cooked it. You broke the cellulose. So there is no safe limit. Zero means zero if you really want to reprogram your system. And then after a while, after several months, then you can have any kind of carbohydrate, but again, not as your daily food. It's treat, occasional treat. And then when you have it, you don't have to limit yourself on small amount because it doesn't really matter. Again, it's not the quantity, it's the quality. 
and now also frequency. How often? If you have it once a month, no big deal. You can have one cake and same day, just load on everything. Have your gallon of ice cream, whole cake, have your uh, sushi, have whatever you want. Because it doesn't matter how much you put it, it gives you great diarrhea because your body is going to take it out. But only small amount will be absorbed because you don't have, absor you don't have uh, transporters. But don't go after the seconds next day or the leftovers the third day because this is <coughs> here you are going increasing your absorption and you're taking your body out of whack. Okay, it's understanding is what counts. Um, young people, they don't have much problem here, but if you have any chronic problem, I strongly advise you to contact me to help you, to lead you through this process. So this way you know it's being done correctly, you don't have any mistakes, and you are going to feel, of course, first you are going to feel all the symptoms of cleansing, um, recalibration does not have any particular symptom except all of a sudden one day you will see that everything becomes very clear your brain is coming out of fog and then you don't want to go back into this fog okay I think that these two questions have been now answered Again, if there are more, when more questions arise, we'll go back at them and explain what to do and how to do it. It makes me very happy seeing that people are waking up because for many years people thought I'm crazy. This cannot be what I'm talking about. but. We are getting there. People are awakening and noticing that whatever we are being told is all bunch of lies and programming. Wrong programming. Thank you for being here. Love you all.